Hi guys, right behind me I've got two brand new FPT NEF 280 marine engines. You'll notice in front of them there's a couple of Volvos. Now these Volvos are the TAMD 60 series putting out 250 horsepower at 2800 RPM. As you can see they are looking a little bit tired. So for this vessel which is an AM38 Flybridge Cruiser the owner decided no. Nah, the Volvos have done their dash, time to put in a couple of nice new motors. And that's exactly where the NEF 280 marine engine has come in. So what we've done is we've gone from 250 horsepower at 2800 RPM up to 280 horsepower at 2800 RPM. Don't let the box fool you, these engines are pretty well like for like in terms of physical size. So if the Volvos fit, there's a very high chance that the FPT NEF 280s will fit as well. Added bonus of doing a repower with THT is we don't tell you everything has to be replaced because it doesn't. These gearboxes here on the back of the NEFs are actually the old gearboxes off the Volvos. The only difference that we had to work around with this is that the bell housings on this 60 series Volvo is an SAE2 with, a, with an 11 and a half inch flywheel. The new FPT are SAE3 with 11 and a half inch flywheel. That means that the flywheel coupling fits but this piece here this is an adapter that THT have had specially fabricated to convert from SAE2 down to the SAE3 of the engine bell housing. It really is what THT specialise in, is making things work to give you a cost effective repower. They're both mechanically fuel injected. You can see there's a couple of small changes. We've got seawater pump with a 45 mil inlet on the port side of the engine here. Whereas on the Volvos, if I swing around, You'll see that they're on the starboard side, just tucked here. Sure, there's a bit of pipe change, but certainly nothing dramatic on that. We've also been able to reuse the rear mounts off the gearbox, which currently aren't fitted, which means that the actual mounting in the vessel won't change. These won't need to be used, and only a bit of movement of the front mounts needs to be adapted. The engines are both 24 volt in this instance. However, the FPT NEF is available in 12 volt arrangement as well. So it doesn't matter what your vessel is, we can offer a solution that means you don't have to completely rewire your engine. As you can see, we can reuse things like existing throttle cables. There's the old throttle on the Volvo. And just through here, you can see here is the new throttle point on the NEF. Apart from that, these are gonna go in over the coming weeks and we look forward to showing you a video and a sea trial once they've done. Um, because these little NEF 6.7 litres as opposed to the 5.9 litre Volvo should have that bit extra torque and power just to help the vessel get up and boogie a bit better. Thanks for watching.